says, your opinion about buying art on the internet? I wouldn't unless I knew the artist, only because to me, a picture on the internet is really not going to do justice to the art. So I would think it would be very hard to determine what that work looked like just from a picture. The internet's a wonderful venue for going in and researching the artist because a lot of artists will have websites and they will have the awards that they've won, again, their CV and where they're showing. So it's a great venue for researching, for finding out where studio tours are, what shows are on at galleries. And if you know the artist and you've been, say, on a studio tour and you've seen the artist and you've actually seen the work of art, and then you're thinking about it and you go online and I could see buying it that way. Sometimes you'll notice on a piece of art, a limited edition. What is the, yeah. what is a limited edition mm -hmm. compared to like an original? Limited editions are fine if you really like the artist, say Bateman, and there's no way the majority of people can afford an original Bateman. You just can't. All you can afford is a limited edition, which basically it's, it's a copy of the original. If you're buying it as an investment, don't bother with limited edition. Go look in the classified section of any newspaper and you'll often see people trying to sell their limited editions. There's not a secondary market. Some of the editions are getting up there like 800. Why would you want one of 800 paintings that are all exactly the same? So you have this painting on your wall, well, limited edition on your wall, and you go to a friend's house and they've got the exact same one. Yeah, you know, go with the original because you can get, you can get original paintings that are a lot less than those limited editions and of equal value or sometimes even better. There is something called an original print, which is actually different than a limited edition print. And an original print is actually a print that the artists themselves have done. And if you look at it, the editions will be often very small. And the artist themselves has actually, it'll, they, it could be they've carved into stone and then printed off of that stone and they will only print maybe five of these or some can go up a little higher. But they are artists' original prints and they will say that on them and the artists will actually tell you they are original prints as opposed to a limited edition which is just a copy why should i own original art having that art in your house it really does say something about you as a person because this is something that you really really like and here you are you're putting it on the wall and you're displaying it for other people and whether other people like it or not, doesn't matter. The fact is, it's a very personal part. Even if you didn't paint it, it's something you love and you're putting it up there and it's a personal part of you. I collect other artists' work and I will often sit there and just look at these other works of art and think, wow, these people are really good. I really enjoy just sitting there and looking at it and looking at the talent that these people have and it makes me feel good it's hard to explain it does it makes me feel really good to just sit and look at art i think it can have a calming effect and i'm not sure you would get that if you buy a print because it matches your wall color i think those pieces just sort of sit there and don't really say anything Whereas you have the original art that you have spent time and you have picked it out and it has spoken to you. And if it spoke to you the first time you saw it, it'll keep speaking to you. So every time you look at it, it'll bring back whatever it was that appealed to you when you first bought it, whether it's a memory of childhood or some place that you've been that was wonderful or you want to go. I find that it really does have that emotional connection. It almost sounds like finding something very comfortable, just like that comfortable pair of shoes that you own. You feel so good in your comfortable shoes. 
It does. Probably sounds like a, a nice comfort level. Yeah, it's it's that, that really f makes you feel good. That's right. And you may go out and buy that expensive pair of shoes. You pay a little more for it, but you love them. You know, you wear them. It makes you feel good. People comment on it. And yeah, that makes a big difference to you as opposed to going and buying yeah, the cheaper ones that they end up hurting and nobody really notices because everybody else has shoes that kind of look like that. The original art, it does. It has that same thing where it's, I can't tell you the number of times that people come, well, okay, a lot of them know I'm an artist, but they'll come in the house. And one of the things that I found really fascinating one time was a group of teenagers, friends of my son, who came in and I was in the kitchen and all I heard was, oh, and I thought, oh, something wrong. And I went to see and they were staring at the art and they started wandering the house until finally one of them said, oh, sorry, is it okay if we look at your art? And I said, it's fine. But these were, these were like 17 year olds who suddenly just went, art, you have original art. This is so wonderful. And I thought, yeah, you're not going to get that reaction with just a print that meant nothing to you. And that to me is wonderful. It, now you'll have to go out and buy already, right? That's right. It, it's, it's, a, it's the time, the mm. relaxation, the, the comfort. Yeah, it uh, gives you a lot. And it, it, yeah, I do under, I understand. That's great. Well, you've really answered a lot of my questions today, Valley. I appreciate uh, your time. Thank Hopefully you so you've much. learned something. I uh, have. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. You've been listening to The Art Studio with your host, Valerie Ashton. The Art Studio is heard Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. 